Okay, well, tell let me know now. I've kind of sorted that out. It should be should be okay now. Okay, choose uh, choose company name and logo. Well, we all, all know what the company name is going to be, but or if we can choose the name. Oh, here we can. I'm sure we can. Here we can. There we go. Um, I think the, 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 the music should be fine now, but let me know if it's still a problem. So this is going to be Cars by Chaos. Yeah, you knew it, you knew it. Cars by Chaos. And uh, what shall we do for our little logo? Is there anything else here that we can deal with? Um, something like that looks okay. That looks about uh, the most reasonable one. <laughs> yeah, Van, you called it. <laughs> Wonder how you knew Chaos Live. <laughs> I think this one is the one. Looks like, uh, I don't know, like, like a wrench or something. Tony Rogers, welcome. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Cars by Chaos, there we go. Welcome to your first day as factory manager. These pop-up windows will help explain the game, but only appear once. There is a reset tutorial button in the options screen if you want to see them later again. Okay, as factory manager, your job is to design the factory and manage its finances so that you, uh, you turn... A profit and earn vital income for our beloved shareholders. If you run out of money, you will run out of your own job prospects. So keep an eye on your company cash balance at the top uh, right of the screen. Okay, here we go. 1.7 million and we're already spending money on something, it seems. Okay, um, broadly speaking, your roles um, are to place down new production slots and conveyors to manage production and manage research and pricing. You can also remove old slots and you will find yourself doing a lot of retooling of your factory layout as your, you research new methods of production. Continue. First, we will explain how to view your factory. You can zoom the camera in and out using the mouse wheel, page up, down, keys um, on your keyboard. To move uh, the map, use WASD, la, 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 la. okay. To get started in your factory, you need to place down a whole bunch of production slots in the right order and connect them with conveyor belts. Cars move along the production line until they reach an export slot, which places them in a showroom for sale. Click on the button to launch the slot picker and start laying out your factory. Okay, so let's see. So this is the factory, zoomed out. Now we can see what's going on over here. Slot placer. Wow, lots of action over here. Maybe you should <laughs> Interesting. Okay, slot placer. This window shows all the different options you have for placing new production slots and other facilities within your factory. At the start of the game, not all slots will be available as they may need to be researched. Um, hover over the name of a slot to see more information on how much it costs, how much power it pr produces, I'm assuming um, uses, um, and how many employees come with it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Um, slot order. The slot picker shows the slot um, in order you need to place them, starting with a chassis, assemble, um, and ending in export. Okay. The export slot has to be placed on an export socket. Um, the gap between the slots have to be filled with conveyor belts. Okay, that is all pretty straightforward. Um, I don't actually want us to do the full tutorial, right? Okay, well, here we go. So, if we have a look at this, I think this is like a research area, it's an office area, so you can put some research desks in there. Yeah, you can see our lovely logo is in there. These are import slots, and I think these are export slots, so that's kind of how it works. So I think what we'll do, uh, this is not a corner though, we, we really don't have access um, to a corner unless we started over here run things in and I think we're gonna try and do that try and start in a corner Though I don't want because we can later expand into these areas if we want to kind of open that up um, We're still paused. Oh, we're not paused. Let's pause the game. So we don't um, Don't mess with stuff now. We've got messages from the chief operating officer It looks like we need to produce a lot more cars in the budget sedan market segment the number of customers has exceeded the production level consistently um, over the last two hours. My goodness, what a, what a thing. Okay, so now 
we need to start doing these things and as you can see over here hang on as i hover over it you can see that the time the chassis assembles uh, takes is like uh, 13 minutes and then the fit body is like 32 minutes so you can work things out like this so that you get to a point where you have a streamline operation mm, alternatively i'm just thinking we could also start yeah, maybe if we start somewhere over here instead, we can run it all the way this way and then we can see about growing in some, some other directions. Okay, so let's uh, give ourselves a little bit of room. And to be honest, I want to provide us with... Actually, we don't need to, to do this one over there. We just start the assembly somewhere. So let's see, rotating this. Uh, let's, let's do it over here and then we'll aim for out there somewhere. This is where resources gets imported. Okay, let's let's try something like this. Let's start it over there. Okay, production schedule for a sedan. Good work. Now, okay, see, they're putting stuff over there. Front of the uh, previous slot, check the arrows. You may want to leave a gap um, of a few tiles between to uh, to allow for later expansion. Okay, there we go. So now the next thing. So we start with the chassis, no route to stockpile. All these kind of things need to be sorted out. Then what we'll do is we will fit the body. So we're going to build a chassis every 13 minutes. So 13 times 2 gives you like 26. So let's do at least two fit bodies. So we'll give ourselves a little bit of room and then we'll move to like fit bodies over here. So we'll do, how, how, how will we, let's, let's do it like, say one over here and I'm going to do another. For, no, don't do that. Forget about that. Let's go with another fit body. Can I just, hang on, let's just switch off the tutorial. Um, show warnings, blah, 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 blah. Confirm. Show waiting, fade fade music I, I can actually turn down the music over here as well I'll do that just a little bit hmm I can't actually switch off the tutorial it seems I can reset it but I don't want to because then I'll just start over again um doo -doo -doo. okay well let's uh let's keep it keep it as is okay I'm gonna go with another fit body over here so we'll do like two fit bodies. Let's do it like that. So there's a little bit of a, a gap in between them. I do like that. Then we're going to need to go with paint. Paint takes 34 minutes. So from there, we'll run one into here. And I'm going to leave a bit of a gap there. Forget about fitting the engine. Thank you. Um, and we'll go with paint again. We'll fit another one over there. So now from there, we will fit the engine. That's back to 22 minutes. So what did we have over here with chassis? We were like 13 minutes. 22 minutes. I think we should probably still go with, with two of them. How's our money? Ooh, we're draining the money quickly. So we'll go with two of them again. And I'm again going to leave um, a fair bit of room there. Okay. So we'll slot it in over there. That's good. Uh, we can export over here. Thinking we can make it there. Now we've got all of that in place. Now we will need, this was, what was this? This was fit engine, right? Yeah, fit engine. Now we'll move to fit accessories. And I think, yeah, so as you can see, these things then become more complex as we go on. And that's why we need to expand our facilities all the time. Uh, so let's go with fit accessories. How long does that take? 14 minutes. So now we can go back down to one to fit the uh, the accessories and I'm kind of tempted to start it all the way up here maybe so we'll run those things in that direction so there we go then we would like to fit um, electronics that's two minutes only so you definitely only need the one of them so we'll do something like this and then we'll do a bit of a quality check all the way at the end and we will export so I think that's going to be our very first production line and we will see how we go from there. Let's do it like so. There we go. And now we're going to place the export. I believe it means we can do it. Um, can we please not do that? Can we do... Can I... I need to be... Ah, there we go. There we go. Export over there. 
Yeah, forget about the conveyors. We'll place our own conveyors. Um, do we need to rotate it or we just kind of run it up here? So there we go. Then we do this, then we do that. Then we do this and we do that. I believe that's going to be just fine. Then we run straight through into there. Straight through into here. Straight through like that. It becomes really complex. It looks simple at the moment. But it does in fact become um, really, really complex. So we'll do up to there. Then we'll go there. And then we'll go like so and in there. Believe that should be fine. Good. Now that's good. Now we'll run that one in there and that one in there and all the way out to export. There we go. Okay. Now, outside of conveyors, we now need to go and get resources imported. Resource importers. So we need to place some resource importers. I'll go ahead and we'll start by um, placing one over here to feed like this off. And I'll do one and then the resource conveyors. Yes, I understand that much. Okay, fine. Let's just get that sorted out. Um, okay, hang on. Before I do that, right? Cancel resource conveyor mode. That's all. That's fine. What I want to do is you need to provide all of these things with their uh, required um, elements. So from a resource point of view, can we get supply stockpile? Yeah, I think that is what we need. Supply stockpile. So what we'll do is I'll try and get a bit of a supply stockpile going on um, somewhere close to the line. Maybe something like this where the resources can come. Oh, actually, we set it up over here. So let's do a lot like a supply stockpile up here. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Fine. And then we'll get the conveyor. So now we run that one up to there. Okay, that's good. So we've got a conveyor into the supply stockpile. And then I think I'm kind of thinking, are we running straight through there? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do supplies over here. We're going to do supplies. Uh, who doesn't want to run, doesn't want to run like that. Now, my question is, do we, let's just run uh, we could run it from from here. Okay, so stuff is being resourced into that direction. Uh, ooh, and we also need to kind of resource all the way over here. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. So we'll feed all of that. I'll get another resource importer over here. We will grab another. How's our money? Our money is starting to run out. Um, we'll get another one of these guys. Maybe up here somewhere. We will have to move these things at some point. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Planning can't be that good. Okay, so then we'll go through there. We'll run it through there. We'll go um, to those guys. We'll go up here. We'll go up here. And do we need anything over here? No. And that's it. So there we go. All of that is now um, situated. So can we get out of this? No, I don't want to quit. Can we just get out of this um, out of this mode? Okay, so I have to click on this. Now, here we go. Here we go. Production manager. You gotta love annoying tutorials. Yeah. Um, lower the video. Oh, okay. That's not for me, I'm guessing. Okay, this screen, um, this screen lets you look at each of the lines you have in your factory. A line is created every time you place down the first slot. Um, in, in the process, each line can produce a number of different designs. And when you um, we, and when they get to the bottom of the list, production starts again from the beginning. OK, so this is this is Dan. This is an is this what it's can we can we name this car? What are we saying? Quantity. We just want to do tons of them, right? We you just you, you, you we just want to do as many as we possibly can Add the entry. Right. Sedan, we can't see. Ah, it's because this thing is selected. Um, I, I want to pause the game actually while we can. We can. Can we just not say? I just want to say a million of them. Just do a million. We need to do like three thousand. So let's just let's just get that three thousand up there. Three thousand. Why on earth do we have three thousand and one? That is weird. 
I can't, uh, I can't, anyway, 3,001 cars it'll be. Can we name it? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ah, I see. Okay, fine. So that's the thing. So we have to actually up it over here. And we just say a massive amount. Apparently not. 3,001. <laughs> so we'll do 3,001 super sedans over here. I would have loved to name it. Yeah, we don't have any other options here. We can't add a new entry. We'll just do a sedan. There we go. Sedan is ready to go. Waiting for resources over here. That should be fine. Um, it should be in, inbound. And let's uh, let's get cracking, I think. Let's get cracking on it. Yeah, I'll keep one, one in the garage for myself. Okay, let's start running this. Can we get... Um, how do I get like out of this view? Toggle visibility of blueprints. I want to not do that. I don't want to quit or anything like that. I want to close. Okay, here's the research. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff like research that we need to do. So I'll get the research facility up and running soon. Ah, here we go. Now we can see. Oh, it's if we zoom out. There we go. Chassis being built. There goes the chassis over here. Can I just close that? Yeah, perfect. Now from here, it's going to start building some stuff on the chassis. Oh, there's a worker going there. Door panel imported. Later, you can actually manufacture these pieces yourself. So this piece should get done and go over there. We can start adding more. There we go. Another chassis. We're building this. It is underway. Okay. What I'll do in the meantime is can we add some research facilities? Facilities. Uh, research office. So let's get a research office. And that can go in over here. What's our money looking like? What does this thing cost? This is pretty pricey. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like maybe two of them. Yes, thank you. Uh, maybe two of them over here that uh, costs a fair bit of money and now what we can do is we can go out of here and we can start researching some stuff okay so this research screen shows all the different technologies you will need to research to compete in the world of uh, car production the research cost the research points which are regularly generated by research facilities you have placed you can only research one tech at a time and you have to pay the researchers wages even when they do not work, you should uh, always be working on something. Absolutely. Okay, so we can do some body specializations and all kinds of things like that. But what I'm thinking is accessories. People love accessories, right? So that's what we what we kind of need to do. Um, power production, advanced production. Uh, da, da, da. Aircon manufacturer? No, definitely not. I want accessories, right? Where do we find the cool stuff? Powertrain, engine specialization, paint, doors, body frame. Where's like climate control? Body frame, wing mirrors, spoilers, all kinds of stuff that we can put in here. Panoramic sunroofs. Um... Okay, let's find it. We're going to find it. Radiate manufacture, powertrain, electric steering, wheel specialization. My goodness. So many accessories. It has to be here, right? Horn, electronics, dashboard, seats, aircon. Here we go. Also requires air conditioning. Is that is that accessory specialization? Unlocks, fit lights, fits horns. All these kind of things. So I would like to do a little bit of that. To do, do smart junctions. Okay. They, it looks a little different than the last time I played, I'm sure. It was easier to find the stuff that I wanted to specialize. Okay. Let's just see. Small battery, drive shaft, body frame specialization. That's good. That gives you all kinds of stuff. There's stuff like security and alarm systems and stuff. It has to be with accessories, right? Electronic specialization. It has to be. Red seat manufacture. Wow, interesting. So I think accessories is something that I'm quite interested in, in doing. Yeah, okay, let's do accessories. Go for accessories. Um, why... What are we doing? Do we need to... 
Hang, oh, hang on. Oh, technologies. This is what I'm. This is what I'm after. Here we go. Ah, oh, car designs. Now we. Yes, yeah, small van. Van one for you is small van. <laughs> um, okay, so it's fine. We're gonna go with technologies first. So let's uh, environmental features echo on. Yes, there we go. Research it now. There we go. Perfect. So we've got the research underway. Found it. Now, how's our production going? Here we can see as we zoom out, we can see the cars. Why is it kind of stacking up over here instead of having a decently uh, distributed queue over here? We should have one, one, right? So there should be a queue of two over here now. Anyway, this one is going through. I believe this may be our very first car. Look, it's a nice red one. <laughs> Super bad. Uh, a van with spoilers. <laughs> okay, so all the stuff is coming in. I don't think we're currently holding any stockpiles. I think it's probably something we need to research. Got some seats into our brand new red car. Um, the the color of this tells you whether it's got like a defect or something like that, I think. It's kind of a schematic view. Okay, that, there it goes. Excellent. So this one's heading in the right direction. At least you want to have a little bit of a backlog at each of them, not just on the one side. There's nothing over here, which I'm... Uh, anyway, that's okay. We'll try and get through there and leather seats. Okay, so this is our first car going out. I think, I believe as it goes out uh, for export, we will um, be asked how much it should cost and these kind of things. Yes, no, maybe. I can speed it up a little. Okay, I believe it's gone out, but we have no idea. So here we see, ah, here we see the car showroom. This is the list of all the cars you've completed for, uh, of construction, but have not yet sold. Their prices will vary depending on what features each car has. Having an empty showroom suggests your cars are too cheap, whereas having an overstocked showroom suggests you need to lower your prices. So this one is going for $19,632. The Crete, welcome to the stream. Oh, you like it? Have you played uh, production line? We've got one car in the showroom. It's pretty basic, as you can see. This is our very first car. Really, really basic. That's all that we have. And it's going to cost $19,000 to buy. Um, market analysis. Customers per hour. All kinds of stuff that we can have a look at over here as we go. Um, we'll not bore ourselves with this detail right now. Customer visits to the showroom per hour. Quite a lot. So we should... Yeah, and our first car, I think, has been sold. Oh, here we can name it. Oh, let's uh, let's name this car. Anybody with an idea for our first chaos uh, cars by chaos chaos vehicle, the sedan? Yes, played it all. Um, played it quite a bit. Okay, but it's been a uh, but it's been a hot minute, <laughs> and I keep replaying the start on top of that. Yeah, happens happens price category. So this is where we're at. We're in the budget variety, and that's our. Um, you should know that that is actually what we want to do, right? That's the that's the. the we need to stay in budget to meet our target. We need to sell three thousand budget vehicles. Um, you can create different variants of each car, perhaps um, to have models at each price category by clicking the new model button. You can also archive old models, which will prevent new ones um, from being produced. Yeah, fair enough. Design features, yes, okay, fair enough, design features. Okay, name. Can we, can we name this guy? What, what, what should we call it? Sedan Chaos? No. Chaos, Chaos Cruise or something like that. Huh? Chaos, Chaos, Chaos Cruise? Well, okay, anyway, we'll come back and rename it. We'll come back and rename it. Throw a few names out there in the chat and we'll have a look. <laughs> Chaotic sedan. <laughs> uh, it's a step in the right direction. How many have we sold? We have no idea what's going on over here. Here we can see, probably see how many we've sold. We're not making any money. Market value is 16,000. 
production costs. I think this will go down as uh, as we um, chaos civic, <laughs> chaos civic. Uh, uh. Let, uh, I, I've got a good one. I've got C one. That's not bad. Chaos C one. <laughs> but <laughs> chaos M three. No, I've, I've I've got a good one. I've got a good one. Look, 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 look. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it chaos every day because why this is an everyday car <laughs> oh man there we go chaotic prius <laughs> oh brilliant okay so we're not seeing any cars sticking around in the showroom so i'm kind of wondering whether our sale price is good enough for something like that we'll have to see um, okay, now let's speed things up a little bit. We need to get through some research. We need to make a little bit more money. I believe as we get more cars out there, we shall start seeing a little bit of a money. Everyday chaos. Yeah. Well, if you go that way, at least call it everyday chaos. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We'll call it everyday chaos. Nice. Okay, there we go. So we've got cars being pumped out all the time. All of these stations are fully busy. Um, these ones, okay, I think that one will be okay. These go through through very quickly. I just need us to make sure that these are, but there's some, so I'm, I'm okay, that goes through, okay. I don't want these to be kind of open there all the time. Are we starting to see a profit though? Yes, I think we'll show a profit soon. Just need to get a few more cars out. And we will continue to do research so that we can add some features to these cars as we go. There's a lot of stuff you can add to the game. Um, yes, at the start you produce cars so slowly you can hike up the price quite a bit and still sell them. But the sales system has been reworked since I last played, so I don't even know how. Hmm, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Can we? But I, I just want to make. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's see about that. If we put it up, like say to twenty one thousand, see if we can still make make some money. Believe that should work. Customer view count six. Okay, we'll keep an eye on on the on the showroom numbers just to make sure that we uh, continue to sell them. If there are too many, oh, they do sell at that quite a high quite a hefty price there we go we're starting to sl sl slowly show a profit okay i think now we're starting to see what this is our gross profit per vehicle ah that's the thing okay well we so what's what's going on with our budget here so our income is coming in that's fine and um, we've got a fair bit of expenses going on We've got some profit. I have no idea what... Oh, I see. I see. It's a little weird, though. This is just our total budget, I think. Yeah. Message from the Chief Operating Officer. It looks like one of your car models, Everyday Chaos, is too cheap. A well-priced model will always have a few cars in the showroom looking for buyers. If they sell out too fast, it's a sign you can afford to raise the price slightly. Take action. There we go. Let's uh, take a little bit more action and put it up to 23,000 and see if we can make tons more profit on it. What's going on over here? This is like objectives. Oh, we need to sell 3,000 budget cars in 10 days. We've sold seven, but we have uh, at least a few more days left, I think. Can we just close that out, please? Thank you. And as we get a little bit more money, I would, don't mind spending it on some additional research. I just want to keep a keep a close eye on these numbers because as we um, open up additional tech, we'll have to make sure to provide the facilities. And I'm not always sure what those facilities are going to cost. Okay, so we've got some stuff here. The showroom empties really quickly. Wow, they sell really quickly. We're going to go up even more. I just want to make sure we're not going to go into that mid-range category. So now we're going up to 24,000. The overhead cost came down a lot already because it gets spread over all the cars of that model that are uh, are made. 
So it's very high um, for the first one. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, everything is going well over here. Um, if it flashes red like that, it means it ran out of material. Um, so as long as those flashes remain very brief, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. I also, uh, I'm also quite frustrated with this. Oh, actually, the, the, the queue is starting to build on both sides. It's okay. The dandelion is back. Actually, that could be a, could be a cool uh, car, car name, actually. The dandelion. Okay, message from the chief operating officer. It looks like we need to produce a lot more cars, budget to Dan market segment. The number of customers has exceeded the production level consistently over the last two hours, yet again. Yeah, we are struggling to produce enough cars to be sold. So I think we can certainly look at starting to expand our operation a little bit. I think one of the things we can certainly look at is, is adding an additional um, chassis build into additional ones of these. So I think we can start looking at something like that. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us to add the slots. Actually, before we do that, let's get our first, um, get our first research done and then we'll check on it from there. Why do we have open spots? I don't want open spots. Okay, environmental features has been updated. Let's get the next, um, the next thing that we want to do. Are we gonna go aircon? I would like to go aircon, right? Sunroof also requires accessory specialization. Oh, let's see. Do we have accessory specialization or is that in process? Let's go straight into accessory specialization and we'll research that one and then we'll see about how we make our cars even cooler. Okay, now for the time being, let's quickly start building more cars more quicker. So if we go fit body, We'll add an extra body one over here on this side. Rival companies have researched air conditioning. This technology is now more common than before. Damn it, we should have been there first. It's a massive research tree. It's a massive research tree. We'll go and look at some of that stuff later. But how much, how much does this cost? This is like, whoa, this is too expensive. Too expensive, we're not gonna do that right now. But an extra one wouldn't have been too bad. Should, should we have gone with the aircon? Anyway, they'll start to demand the features. Let's have a quick look over here. Now I've got two cars in the showroom, which means that um, they might now be slightly too expensive. What? They may in fact now be slightly too expensive. Let's drop it down a little bit, see if we can, uh, can sell some of these cars a little bit. Yeah, our research really, I think we need to pick up this pace on our research. Rival companies have researched cruise control. Yeah, we need to pick up the pace on our research. That is what we need to do. So if we go to facilities, research, office, uh, let's slot in another. I don't want to overdo it though. Uh, so you're saying the research is slightly confusing because it's over the three categories? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it, it, it kind of can be. Competitor analysis. Let's quickly have a look at the competitor analysis. Where was it? Gamers with autosave. Thank you. That's, that's great. Great to, great to know. Cars by chaos, cars in stock, nothing. So we're uh, actually, we should probably still need to be pretty expensive. Achievements, this is stuff I've got before. Taxi screenshot, toggles, overhead conveyors. Components, features, wow, there's so many things that you can have a look at. 
Look at this. Ah, oh, here we can see. This is good. This is good. We can see here when um, stuff is, is waiting. A lot of waiting for next vehicle occurring at some of these uh, slots. No export room. Waiting for resources. A little bit of waiting for resources, but I'm quite happy with that. We probably need to resolve some of these waiting for next vehicle things, which is all the way out here. So we could really start running an extra line, I think. Let's let's run let's run one more line. Let's run one more line. We can certainly do that. Let's do another fit body. Uh, yeah, let's give it a little bit of space. A fit body over there. Then we'll do a paint. Then we'll do a fit engine. How's our money looking like? What's the fit engine going to cost us? Ninety five. We should be able to uh, to comfortably cover that. Good. Now give us some conveyors. So I'm going to run you down there and in there and in there and in there and then, whoa, research specialization is done. Choose the next project. Now let's go back to technologies and let's grab air conditioning. Fit aircon. Let's do that. Okay, now let's get back to this conveyor um, up here and up there. Now let's get the resource conveyor sorted out. Uh, we'll run that one down there and we'll run this one through there and this one will run down there. Perfect. Okay, so now we should up the pace a fair bit, I think. Spam research every hour. I'm hoping we uh, get through these things. Again, we're not uh, left with any cars on the floor. So let's up this a little bit. Why is our gross profit struggling? Did our overhead costs go up tremendously? Adding more research to the mix. We can't make these cars much, uh, much more expensive. Otherwise, they won't be budget anymore. Looks like we need to produce a lot more cars, market segment. Yes, fair enough. If I make this way more expensive, if I make it any more expensive, it goes into mid-range, mid right? Will it still stay that or will it go into, into, that, into that category? Look at this production cost. We need to, uh, we need to produce so many more of these. Um, I would like to see this guy. We don't have a car in here. Why is this taking so long? Did we wait for a lot of stuff? Okay, I just need us to get these things through a little quicker. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we all of a sudden have a few cars on the uh, on the floor. <laughs> stop telling the CEO. Well, stop, tell tell your CEO to stop sending emails and come down to the floor and build it. What is your car type in real life? Are you talking about mine? I don't have a car. I haven't had a car since 2017. I'm a, I'm more of an Uber and slash public transport kind of guy. New loan available from the bank. Rival companies have reached electric windows. Oh, I think I've done the aircon thing, right? Oh, no, no, we're busy with the aircon thing. But I am worried we're not really making the money we need to make. Had the dip when we built the additional production line pieces. Income is not good. And then expenses over here. Prices. Okay, this is the various stuff. We can make more money if we build some of this stuff ourselves. My goodness, the COO really just doesn't, uh, doesn't know when to stop, does he? We need to produce more cars. Do 
do, do, do. Um, expensive. Scotland public transport and taxis cost a bit. Um, how is public transport in Australia? Buses aren't that bad as they used to be, but taxis are extortionate. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, currently, I live in Brisbane, and so the, the, uh, the, the I, I use the ferry most of the time. Um, so we've got an awesome river here, and I just jump on the ferry to go into the city or something like that. It's like a, a five-minute ferry trip, and it costs me like, I don't know, two dollars or something. In Dubai, I used to use the metro a lot, but I also use the uh, the car share schemes like um, like like U Drive and stuff like that. Rival companies have reached in car music. How awesome is that? Yeah, trams are pretty cool. I love I love trams. Trams are really cool. There, I think they're one of those. Um, those awesome uh, methods of public transport that we kind of lost out on because a lot of cities decided to uh, just kind of rip out their public transport systems. Uh, I mean, their tram systems specifically, not public transport systems, their tram systems. All cities had them and then all of a sudden no cities had them and then uh, now everybody's bringing them back. So now we're starting to see a little bit of a backlog appear over here. And I'm kind of wondering whether we need to add an additional fit accessories piece. But I think this is the one where we're going to, going to expand as soon as we finish this research. So uh, we'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, your town used to have them. Uh, practically every city in, had, had, had a tram line. Practically every city in the world. And most of them just took them out completely. It looks like we need to produce more cars. This is really, um, let's, uh, let's stop showing advice of that type because it's not that helpful. Okay, now we've got air conditioning. So now we can fit air conditioning. So we'll go into looking at that at the moment. The question is, do we do heaters? Do we do proper climate control? Um, the problem that I do have, however, is that let's get security features. The problem I have with it, though, is, or leather interior, is that we're going to um, price ourselves out of the budget category. So let's go with air conditioning and maybe something like heaters. Actually, let's get heaters. So let's get heaters instead. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll see about maybe security. Perfect. So now there's a new slot. So let's, uh, let's have a look here. There's a new fit accessories piece here. Ooh. So instead of having one that does all of this, now we can replace it with a lot of little ones. Hmm. Okay, so instead of doing that, and there's fit aircon as part of this. Now the issue we have, I'm going to, I'm just going to break the line over here. Let's do that. I'm going to break the conveyor over here. Ooh. Let's, uh, can we, how do we demolish a conveyor? Where is my demolition tool? Ah, here we go. I'm going to uh, demolish that one. That's fine. So we'll get all of these cars to run out and then I'm going to do a whole new fitting, um, the, fit the, fit this, the, the accessories piece. So let's get these last um, um, few through. And then we should speed things up a little. Let's, um, in the meantime, have a look at how much this one cost. Uh, oh, this one was 14 minutes. And then if we go to these, these are now independent of, of them. So we can have a look. So they're all like three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, four minutes, two minutes, one minute. So really, we can you can optimize these things to the nth degree. Can I sell some of this stuff? Can I do upgrades here? Oh yeah, I can do upgrades. Excellent. I like having these guys starting to stack up over here. Gives us a lot to work on as soon as that one's done. And we are still selling these cars at quite a hefty fee. We're still in the budget range though. If we go up, oh now we're mid range. So I'll have to stick it, stick it out at like 25k. We can't go higher than that.
Okay, now let's move that out of the way. Now let's pause the game while I quickly see. Can I... My question is, I can move it, right? But can I sell it? Can I sell it? Or do I just have to demolish it? What is that? What happens over here? Hold shift to delete a resource conveyors. So if I do that, will it just delete or will I get my money back? It's, I'm at 283 at the moment. Oh, I did get some money back. Okay, excellent. It's good. I get some money back over here. We'll trim that out of there and we'll... Okay, now let's uh, do the rest of the fitting accessories. Oops. Fit accessories over here. So we'll fit some lights. So I'm kind of thinking, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. So I'm thinking what we'll need to do is we'll need to run it up here this way. Okay, so we'll do fitting lights. Uh, we'll fit the horns. We'll fit the seats. Then we'll come back and we'll come down and we'll fit, um, we'll fit the windscreen. We'll fit the air conditioner unit and we'll fit the dashboard. And this is the cool part of this game. You start to really specialize. So now if we do that, if we do that, we'll do, we'll run it up here. We'll run it there, there, all the way around that way. Run it straight through there. And we'll see. I'm not sure. We'll have to check how that works. Now we just need to get the resource um, conveyor all linked up. Oh, that one is actually quite linked up. So let's just make sure to um run some like this like that and we'll run some like this hopefully that's going to be sufficient okay now if we unpause there they go immediately we start um seeing the rest done waiting for some lights to arrive do, 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 do. lights in and move all right at least this should be more effective Stop waiting for my resources. Here comes the horns. Rival companies have um, automatic windscreen wipers. Wow, pretty cool. We don't know what year it is though. This is working pretty well. We still have a few bits and pieces that's currently waiting for cars. But they move pretty quickly. I don't like the fact that these are kind of stacking up over here while um, on this side we don't have anything. Why can't you just move it down into that direction? Okay, but now we should have cars actually out there that act, that has air conditioning. Now I'm kind of wondering, because we the goal is for us to produce budget vehicles, I am kind of wondering whether uh, what we're doing is the right thing. And maybe we shouldn't go uh, after accessories, but instead we should go after processes. So once this research is done, we'll start looking at some process work. See if we can't do a little bit better. Gonna make everything cheaper, get the process optimized, those kind of things. It seems like we're not actually making money on these cars anymore. And this is the thing that I do wonder about. Oh no, now we're making money. That was weird. That was really weird. To be honest, I'd expect a budget car to have an air conditioner. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is true. But I'm just thinking in terms of general strategy, we shouldn't be chasing accessories. We should be, we should be optimizing our, uh, our, our, uh, our factory floor. So we're not, we're not trying to sell the best value to people. We're just trying to sell large volumes of it. Go right. Yes. No, you should have gone all the way down here. Okay. 
We're really not building up a backlog, are we? See, now this guy, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, good. But that waiting for a, for a piece of equipment is really not good. Okay, our research should be done shortly. Then we'll see what we can do to optimize our processes a little bit. Okay, now I've got a heater. Ooh, upgrade slots, new upgrade, fit dashboard, and one others. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so we have a fit dashboard piece here. So let's go out of there, pause the game. This is for dashboard, right? If we do upgrade now, we can effectively say buy. What does this mean? Why buy all? Power consumption. I have no idea what this means. Buy all. Oh, it's if we had more than one. Okay, we have one. So now we can actually have uh, heaters in our cars. Yeah, heaters. Okay, let's uh, pause and go into this. So in terms of processes, I just wanted to have a look at this. So can we... Um, maybe come here into maybe not accessories but more robots or something like that so we can speed things up provides option to add extra production line robots to each slot I think that's that's good then we have improved efficiency faster drying all these kind of things factory expansions that's not necessarily the right thing for us but uh, maybe more robots is the key for us here that, that might help us out a fair bit. So let's research that so we can produce everything quicker without building new slots. That's good. Um, over here we will now be fitting heaters also. Painting needs to be split up. Uh, eventually, yes. I, I do remember that, but we still need to research that a little bit. Why another one? It looks like we need to reduce our production in budget sedan market segment has exceeded the number of customers coming to our showroom. Well, that's not, I'll, I'll drop the price a little bit, to be honest. Oh, now we've got heaters in there. Market value of the heater isn't very high, but the aircon is pretty good. At least we've got all the basic features. Another message? No, 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 just take this one away. Oh, am I seeing the same message over and over? Yeah, there we go. There it goes. Oh, disable the advice. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Let's do that. Um, show warning when research, waiting for research warning. Uh, reset advice. Pause on the research complete. That's uh, that's not bad. Auto save, confirm slot deletion, run the background, slot backgrounds. Um, show warning advisors. What is that? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe it's that one. Okay, out of there. Our money is picking up again, which is awesome. Means we can uh, slowly start looking at further expansions. But I think we've just about got the right mix going on over here. And there's some stuff that's not necessarily always busy on this side. And this one just, uh, we, can, we can probably squeeze at least double the amount through that we're currently getting through there. Which is a massive improvement to the one unit we had placed. Got heaters, cars are selling pretty quickly still. How's our profit margin on these guys? 33% profit margin on these guys. We're nicely in the budget category. How are we going here? 69 cars. Um, and we're practically at the end of our first day. So <laughs> we are, we need to sell, we need to do like 300 per day if we want to get our target. So we are way behind, way behind. <laughs> way behind where we need to be in order to uh, achieve our goal so we definitely need to start spending this money on getting more stuff done so optimizations is going to be everything new bank loan is available and maybe that's something we should uh, should consider as we move on 
I think what I'm going to do just ever so briefly, I'm going to grab another facility, uh, another research office, I mean, in there, so that we can do research a little bit quicker. Advanced manufacturing, we need to kind of get those stuff done. Automatic windscreens. We're almost done with the research, but if we can do research a little bit quicker, that would be awesome. Okay, there we go. Research upgrade all slots for 90k. Absolutely. Uh, no, maybe we won't do that. Uh, actually, maybe we can. Let's just upgrade all the slots for 90k, and we'll get uh, and we'll see how how that improves our efficiency. Now all of these should be like much quicker, right? Oh, it's not that much quicker. Okay, now we need to do more research. So let's pause the game and see more robots, even more robots then. Okay, here we go. Improved drying. Dry undercoat also requires paint specialization. So I think something like this is pretty good. Faster conveyors, faster uh, uh, resource imports. That's pretty good. Yeah, I do think faster drying is one of those things that would be pretty good. Oh, paint specialization. Ah, oh, that's the one. Let's do paint specialization. Yes, that's the one. So we can uh, speed up our paint. Actually, no. Chassis specialization. Axles, fuel tank, and small batteries. That's not too bad, but actually this one is not bad either. Paint specialization is only two. Yeah, it's only two then. Polished paintwork and high pressure nozzles. Oh no, multiple three. Gets three of them. And then over here, it gets three of them. I think let's just start with the first one. Chassis specialization and go for it. Let's do it. Chassis specialization. There we go. Let's get out of here and see how that goes. Oh, here comes the hydrates. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Van, got you. So, two of them. Novophilian, thank you. <laughs> that was a that was that was not a that, that was a pretty poor attempt at the spam. Oh doc, there's it one from you as well. And another one. Hmm. There we go. Okay. That was like oh and another. Thank you. Like six, six sips of water. Mother Earth, welcome to the stream. Okay, so we're doing our uh, painting, paint specialization, right? No, no, chassis, chassis specialization. Mother Earth with a, with a, with a light hydrate there. Thank you. Next hour, you'll try again. Uh, one uh, one thing to uh, to know is that today I'm not doing I'm not going to do three hours I'm just going to do two so I'll be ending in an hour. 